In this video, I'm going to show you how to add more oscillators to your synthesizer so you have a choice of oscillator types. And we're also going to do some uh, house cleaning and changes to the instrument's interface to make things look a little more interesting. So I'm going to level down into my synth and I'm going to move some things around a little bit, clean, clean up our, the inside of our instrument. And as you are no doubt familiar with by now, we're going to call up this menu and we're going to go choose uh, two different oscillator types to add to our synth. So built-in module, oscillator, triangle, and we're going to go built-in module, oscillator, sine. So in order to be able to choose between these three oscillators, we're going to have to create another switch just as we did with the filter section. So I'm going to go built-in module, panel, switch. And with the switch selected, I'm going to make sure I'm in my properties view. I'm going to go over to the function tab and increase the minimum number of ports to three. And let's connect each of these oscillators to the switch. There's one, two, and three. And we're going to take the out port from the switch and connect it to the in of the filter. Next, we're going to have to name these ports on the switch. So let's uh, call this first one saw for the sawtooth. The second one is going to be TRI for triangle. And the third one will be SINE for sine wave. And the last thing we need to do uh, here is connect the out of our envelope to each of the A for amplitude in on each of these oscillators and the note pitch to each of the P's for pitch. So this is what your synthesizer should look like on the inside. Let's level up to the instrument interface and see what we've got. So here's our switch. It's been thrown up here in the upper left corner. Let's go ahead and unlock the panel. And I'm going to drag this out to the left. Now you can't see it now, but watch what happens when I let go. There we go. And I'm going to click in here where it says switch and change this to OSC for oscillator. And then lock the panel. Okay, so let's go ahead and try out each one of these waveforms. So now we've got a synthesizer with multiple waveforms to choose from. We have an attack decay sustain and release envelope to work on each of those oscillators and a filter section. Let's look now at trying to make our synthesizer a little more appealing visually. So in order to start making changes to our instrument visually, we want to select where it says instrument here, make sure we're in the properties view and go to the view tab. Now we can start making changes to the color uh, of the different elements that make up our interface. So let's say we choose panel and then click choose color. I'm going to go over here and let's change this to an orangish red. Click OK. Now let's move on to the indicator lines. Again, choose color and we'll do something in a light blue. OK. And moving on to the graph lines. How about white? And then finally, graph fill, we'll choose something again in the blue purple range. So you can see with a few simple changes, we have something here that's a lot more visually appealing. We also have the uh, option to change things like our knobs and switches into uh, different views. So for example, if I select any of these knobs, uh, the view tab automatically shows up here and I could change this to small, medium, or big, or I could change any of my knobs to horizontal faders or vertical faders. So let's go ahead and change these all to medium sized knobs. There's attack, decay, sustain, and release. And let's change our cutoff and resonance on our filter to 
horizontal faders. So select each one, select horizontal fader. Now I'm going to unlock the panel and move these into position. And again, I can use my left and right and up and down arrows for more precise movements. I'm going to select this switch now and show you some of the options we have for switches. The default is the button style. We could also choose menu, which uh, gives us a drop down menu to choose from, text panel, or spin. And let's go with menu for our filter. And I'll put this right underneath my horizontal sliders. And then let's go with the oscillator. We'll select that and choose text panel. Now I'm going to select it and I'm going to use my left arrow to push this over here. And I'll bring it up to the top. Another option that we have is for resizing the uh, envelope displays. So if we select those, you can see in the view tab, we have an option for width. Let's make that 160 and we can also adjust the height if we wanted to. I'll leave this at the default value of 52. So let's move that into position and command P to lock the panel. In the next video, we'll talk about using what are called macros in Reactor to turn our synthesizer into a true multi-oscillator instrument.